Whoever watched Burt Reynolds, when he was younger, he was gorgeous. Okay, so they had clips from Smokey and the Bandit, oh, wow. and what they did, they superimposed <coughs> the old Burt Reynolds with the young Burt Reynolds. No. Yes, in the same scene. <coughs> Smokey and the Bandit, they did it. Deliverance, they did it. Oh my it. gosh. Wow. I mean, it was, really? I, it, it, it was powerful. Wow. Because it was really him talking to him. Oh, that's cool. Mm. And, yeah, and, and of course, you know, I haven't shared this story with too many, but I actually met him in, when I was in L.A. at <clears throat> an audition. Yeah. Have I told you all this story? I, I get a call from my agent. You have an audition, you know, Burt Reynolds is doing a spinoff of Evening Shade, and they, they're, I haven't told you the story. Mm -hmm. And he said, they want you to, you know, go. I said, okay. So I go in, and this was over 20 years ago. And man, he was broken down then. Oh, no. <laughs> broken <laughs> down. God, this guy's old. And he leaves and goes, hey. How are you doing there? And I go, whoa, he's so fucking old. And that's over 20 years ago. And so I do my deal and, and I sit down and his producer's there and, and Bert's laughing and the, per he's the producer, he says, so do you want to do it again? And he changes it. He goes, no, what for? She hit a home run. She's beautiful. She's funny. I love her. Whoa, <laughs> so I leave and as soon as I get home, I get the call from my agent. He goes, wow, got some good news, got some bad news. Okay, it's good news. Bert Reynolds loves you. Good. Bad news. What's the bad news? They want you. Oh, that's good news. Yeah, bad news. You're all going to love this. They only want to pay you 8000 an episode. Oh. We're going to pass. You're worth more than that. Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah, and it, and it really was a bonehead call on my age. Because, you know, when you think about it, you know, for those of you who know, you know, of course, Friends is an, an anomaly, but when those people renewed their contracts, they were all making a million dollars a week. Oh a million dollars a week, Jesus. and an episode is usually a week. So when they heard $8,000, not that I was worth a million dollars, but yeah. certainly, let's get closer to at least, you know, 50, 80, 100, and, and he really thought I was gonna, you know, scoop up something like that. Yeah. And of course, what he didn't realize is like, they weren't making series for women like that. Yeah. You know, it's not like now, yeah. where so it's a lot different. <coughs> um, and, you know, and the series never went anywhere, so it's not like, you know, it's not like, like it's not like, what if it had been Friends? Yeah, that would have been rough, but that, you know, no one ever, I don't think he got picked up or anything. But, um, yeah, it was just, so it was kind of fun seeing him now, even older than he's like, good God, I don't know how he made it through the movie, I really don't. He was so, he's got a cane and he's just broke, but it is, it is a beautiful, beautiful movie on so many levels, and especially with all of you being actors, I think you really appreciate the shitty little fucking film festival he gets invited to. And he's like, are you kidding me? You know, he's waiting for his limo and this girl in this beaten up car comes over and he goes, where's my limo? She goes, no, I'm your assistant, get in the car. Oh my God. So, and, that, and so they have to spend the whole weekend together. She's the one who drives him around. And um, it, it's a, I don't want to spoil it for you, but it, it's really, really great. Love it. Okay. Did you say it's on Amazon? It's on Amazon, yeah. Okay. It really is good. Okay, thank you. <laughs>